What's up, everybody? Surprise, surprise. Ooh, a Tesla. I'm actually uploading a video midweek. That's like unheard of. We just got a really, really beautiful day today, and uh, I felt like riding a little bit after work. And uh, I don't know who this guy is in front of me <laughs> on, a, on the scooter. And uh, we got another guy back here behind me on a uh, BMW something. They're both wearing high-vis vests, which makes me feel a little out of place. But we're headed out to a little location to take a look at my bike because I have been getting a ton of questions lately about certain parts on my bike. This guy in the BMW next to me, is it? He don't want to pull up. I guess he don't want to talk to me. Pull up, buddy. I can talk. So typically I upload every uh, Sunday night. A lot of you might see it as Monday morning because usually by the time I uh, film and edit and get to uploading and everything, it's like midnight on Sunday. Usually I upload Sunday night and I want to start uploading more for you guys. I know I say that quite a bit, but we're about to start getting into uh, spring and summertime. So daylight savings is coming. Warmer weather is coming, so we're going to have better weather. And I'm going to have a lot more daylight after work to where I can go out and ride during the week. And it's not going to be so miserable and cold. Um, so I want to start trying to pump out two videos a week at least. Sunday night and Wednesday nights or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't really like schedules and staying on schedules or anything like that. I also don't want to cram the videos like one day after another. Still got my BMW guy with me? I do. I don't know why everybody's waiting in that line. These are both turn lanes. There goes my BMW, buddy. Here we go into our creepy tunnel. I don't know if that guy's supposed to be here blocking the entrance, but <laughs> not doing a very good job at it. Oh, that scared me for a second. The sound of the tires on this like gradient. I was like, what the hell? Oh, wow. It dropped like 10 degrees just by coming down here. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. There used to be a little concrete ramp here. Somebody tore it out. That's stupid. Come on now. I'm trying to film something here. So this is my 2006 Harley Davidson Dyna Lowrider the obvious parts that are on it. The crash bar from 35 Cycles Winnipeg up in Canada. Check them out on Instagram and uh, get yourself one. You can see marks on it right here where I've already dropped it and it's scraped and it's held up every time. The uh, seat is a the Saddleman step up seat. Obviously as you can see it doesn't have any of the stitching or anything like that. It's just the flat leather with the gripper material right here which is I like the look of it better than uh, stitching and whatnot at least on my bike. The front fairing is a, the Memphis Shades gauntlet fairing. It's uh, pretty comparable and similar to the uh, Harley Davidson quarter fairing. The exhaust is the question I get all the time of what, what exhaust is it and everything. And it's actually just some homemade exhaust that the, uh, the guy that I bought the bike from, I guess he had a buddy that worked in a, a fab shop or some shit like that and had this exhaust made up for him and it doesn't sound too bad um, I don't really know if it brings any performance or kills the performance or anything because it's the only exhaust I've had on the bike uh, and I haven't had it tested or tuned or ran or anything so it <laughs> there's really a lot I don't know about this pipe other than it uh, it's fallen apart quite a bit and been crammed back together plenty of times the shocks are uh, actually RFY shocks. It's just some cheap ass eBay brand. You can get them on eBay for like 70 bucks. If you've got a little more money to spend than 70 bucks, and I would definitely spend it on some better shocks, um, it's gonna be better in the long run. 
but if you're in a major pinch like I was and you need something other than those uh, non-adjustable short stock, you can pick yourself up a pair. You can at least adjust them, kind of. They, they are air ride. They don't really hold air very well. I don't have air in mine at all right now. The shock sliders, the pegs, these are actually just BMX pegs from a mongoose bike. And actually you can see where it says mongoose right there. Drilled out the hole to fit the bolts on the bike and uh, I mean they're good to go. There's obviously better shock sliders out there you can buy but these ones work for me. They hold up. I'm still running on the belt. I plan on changing that pretty soon. The foot pegs are actually, they came on the bike as well and I believe they're just uh, foot pegs that the, the same guy who made this exhaust uh, found them somewhere or made them himself or something because I haven't been able to find them online and they're just like, they're almost like uh, motocross pegs but fatter and longer. Um, the air breather is just a K&N air breather. It's dirty as hell right now. CR High Pro Taper Bars and they're sitting on top of some hard case performance uh, 7 inch risers with uh, Speed Merchant, I believe, uh, aluminum bushings so that the bars don't have any play in them when you're when you're pulling on them or anything like that. Grips are just these uh, Renthal Kevlar grips. The control housing and the levers and everything are the stock Harley-Davidson ones. Uh, they're mounted up because these bars are 7 8 uh, bars and all the controls are made for 1 inch bars. So these are held on these plastic sleeve things uh, that adapt them to a 7 8 bar. The throttle tube is actually a, a weird uh, Frankenstein throttle tube that I created out of a 7 8 dirt bike throttle tube and the control part of the stock one inch throttle tube so there's seven eighths at the grip but it's still one inch inside here it's it's weird to explain but motor and transmission completely stock uh haven't done anything to them inside the primary i do have the uh the screaming eagle um chain tensioner in there because my stock chain tensioner had more grooves than my grandpa in the 70s the other thing about this bike, since it's a 2006, those of you that own 2006 Dynas and people who are thinking about getting 2006 Dynas, you should know about this. Uh, the 2006 Dyna stator and stator rotor are bad. Uh, the stator is just fine, but the uh, stator rotor is bolted together instead of welded as one solid piece. So after a certain amount of time, those bolts will back out and pretty much the entire thing will just break and shred inside the primary. If you, if you guys have been around for a while, you remember it happening to me. And I had to get in there. Easy fix. All you got to do is pull the stator and the uh, stator rotor out and swap it out with the uh, 2007 stator or stator rotor. Or in my case, the Harley-Davidson shop near me didn't have the 07, so I actually have the 08 stator and stator rotor in my bike. It's pretty much it for the uh the dyna like i said the engine's completely stock engine and drivetrain is all stock uh the only upgrades are really just the bars uh rear suspension uh the seat and a couple little uh bits of protection here and there like the crash bar and whatnot I'll get out of here since I've uh, probably pissing these people off revving up and inside the tunnel and everything. Woo. The wind is a little bit cold on the eyes. But there, there are some things I want to do to it. And, uh, a couple little, little more protection parts here and there. I need a, I want to convert it to chain. I've been running on this belt the. Uh, the entire time I've had the bike and knock on wood I haven't had any issues with it but I don't expect it to last forever so little wheelie for you guys I usually don't like doing a whole lot of uh, hooning around during the week just because 
like I've stated before, this is my main transportation, so if I fuck it up, I'd rather it be on a weekend where I have a couple days afterwards to, to kind of work on it and get it back in running condition so I can get to work and make more money to break more parts to pay for those broken parts. It's just this vicious cycle, but I love it. Ooh, ooh, can't see me behind that tree, can you? Oh, there's a little Grom. Goodbye, Grom. Until we, until next time. Oh, shit. Somebody's in a ditch. Oh. I got rear-ended. Am I still recording? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. My battery was kind of dead. I forgot to charge it. But I didn't really expect to be making a video today. Hey, there's my Grom buddy. What up, dude? Oh wow, he just bought that Grom. Still had a paper tag on it. Congratulations. Anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one.